Hi guys, I've been struggling with this for the longest time ever, so which is I always put limiting beliefs on my worth and I avoid making money. For example, uh, if someone asks me about sales coaching, I will say oh it's only $200 and I'll give like unlimited hours and I will like give extra value because I'm always uh, I mean like I, I, I'm just a straight assumption, right? I'm always afraid that people will think that I'm overcharging them or whatever. So and that is affecting my growth right now. So in this video, I'll be overcoming it myself using my art of internalizing framework, which is part of a calibrate of energy BS now. So I'll be applying it on my own life, you know. So why I avoid making money? Possible reasons could be mm, self doubt. Not good enough. Disappoint clients. Disappoint clients. Uh, never meet expectations. Feel. Lousy. Yep. So this could be one potential reason, right? The fact that I have self doubt about my worth, that I'm not good enough, that I'm afraid that I will uh, not meet their high expectation or disappoint them, and that in return will make me feel lousy. So now I'm aware that you know I'm afraid of making money because I'm afraid that I avoid making money because I'm afraid that it might end up making me feel lousy if I earn it but I don't deliver okay so all this just help me to be more self-aware next next what else uh, family bills so the fact that right now I'm actually contributing to my family bills so whatever money I make to family no point making more so this in this exercise is just me being very transparent with myself there's no judgment on my end you know I just throw in possibilities so it could be the fact that I have to pay family bills whatever I make anyway goes to the family so if I make 3k I give 3k if I make 4k I give 4k so at the end of the day, it doesn't really make matter much to me. Maybe, yeah. No point making more because it's the same for my kids. It's the same for me. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. Feel indifferent, right? Feel indifferent. What else? Feel different. The, if I make more money, it's just like that. If I, you know, make lesser, it's also like that. Because the money goes to the family, I feel different. What else? What else? What else? Let's dig deeper. Let's dig deeper the road. So why avoid making money? Why? 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 Mm. Could it be that my past experiences with money, my past experiences? Money, made money wrongly. So I last previously I sold my integrity for cash. Right, so I feel cheap. I feel betrayed. You know, I feel that I let myself down, I let my integrity down. So I feel cheap, I feel betrayed because yeah, I was doing sales just for that commission, I just do stupid stuff. So I make money wrongly. And not just that, other stuff as well, right? So uh ignore others feeling. 
to make money. Selfish. Feel guilty. Oh my god. Yes. I'm digging deeper already because I remember when I was in Mouse Life, right? The restaurant owner already wanted to close their shop already, you know. I really want to shut down the business. Yet I say this partnership is very good, blah blah blah, and end up I made them sign with me, and I earn my commission, even though the business is going to shut down. So you see, that was where I made money wrongly, and there were patterns, past experiences of me making money wrongly, and I really don't want to follow that mistake. I don't want to go back to where I was, and that is why I'm afraid of making. That's why I'm afraid of making money. Uh, that is the truth. That is the truth. So it's all these things, right? I feel guilty. I feel lousy. I feel indifferent about about myself i feel cheap i feel betrayed hence that's why i want to avoid making money and it doesn't it doesn't serve me well lah. like all these all these past experiences it's, it's bad it's bad what else what else Daryl? what else could it be that my dad's relationship with money could it be right that's relationship with money with a lot of money anyhow spend right so my dad made a lot of money he anyhow spend spend on luxury goods and everything so that scares me because now that we don't have any we don't have anything and I'm like you know I have to be thrifty I have to be save, saving all my dollars and cents so anyhow spend it scares me feel fear So, but it's not directly correlated to avoid, you know, avoiding making money. In fact, I should be making more money because my dad didn't spend money, right? But, yeah, but anyway, I just throw it out there that my dad's relationship with money. So he made a lot of money, and he spent money, hardly safe, and that scares me. I feel fear, fearful towards like money relationship. And uh, what else? So now that I'm aware that of my past experiences, as long as I recognize it and I don't repeat the mistake, I should be okay. I should be doing good. So I need to come up with something that is very fair, like money back guarantee or give them assurance that here's the key objective that you want to hit and I will do whatever I can to help you hit it. And if you don't think that I serve you well, 100% money back guarantee. You can take it back. So that being said, I have done my best. I will not feel this way. And I will not feel this way as well. And with regards to this, it's actually not true. It's just my limiting beliefs, right? So as long as I earn extra, I get to keep, I get to put inside my savings, I get to invest the money, the extra money. This limiting beliefs, this for sure limiting beliefs. This is this bullshit, right? Only at times then I have to contribute extra for family. But it's not I don't, I don't, right? So this limiting beliefs. This truth, this truth, this is something that is very indirectly related to me. Ah <sighs> so yes, it's really about my past experiences. How I made money as a salesman last time was so scary. And it scares me now that, that I'm trying to break, build something on my own. Okay. So now I'll focus on finding a solution now that I'm aware of this. Yeah, so that's me being very transparent with you guys of how I personal, personally use this framework to dive really deep and find out certain things. Yeah, and it's really me being 100% transparent with you guys. And hopefully, yeah, you guys can gain something or whatever from this. If you avoid money like me, ask yourself, you know, like what's your relationship with money? Dive real deep. How do you make money? How do you save money? How do you lose money? How do you spend money? Yeah, but thank you for being part of my journey.